The book is I Don't Know What You uh, Know Me From, and you talk in here about how you have this experience where people, they know you, yes. but they're not sure what they know you from. Is yes, that correct? Yes, that's why I called the book yeah. that title. Um, yeah, people, they come up to me a lot, and they demand for me to tell them what they know me from. Um, it becomes my problem to uh, figure out what project I've been in that they, that they recognize me from. So I've... I call it fan profiling because mm -hmm. I think you can tell, I can, I feel like I can kind of tell when I look at somebody what their favorite thing I've been in is or just what they recognize me from. Like I was recently flying from Toronto to New York and my customs officer, Bill was his name. Um, he was an older gentleman with a mustache and I was guessing two and a half men for that one. Mm -hmm. um, I was wrong, by the way. It turns out Bill doesn't watch television or movies. So I don't know what Bill knew me from, but he wouldn't. <laughs> he but wouldn't. he knew you. And he was not handing over my passport until we figured it out together. That's the thing is they, yeah. so, he, so you have people saying to you, what do I know? And they don't yeah. let you go until you yeah. hit the yeah. thing, they, which is frustrating. Yeah, it's so, kind of frustrating, especially when it's like, yeah, he's got like a really important document of mine in my hands and I wanted it back. Have I, you ever had people where it's like, okay, I think this person, I, I, or this person gets it right? Yes. And you think they've gotten it right? And yes, then... I was waiting uh, in line for the valet recently and a woman was like, aren't you an actress? She was a little mad about it, actually. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but it's a good thing. And yeah. um, she said, you're in 27 dresses. And I was like, I am in 27 dresses. She was like, I thought so. And then she got kind of nice. And then she was like, what else? <laughs> and I was like, but, but we just did the thing. Yeah. It's over. You guessed it. Yeah. You were right. Yeah. You got no. it. No. You what need else? more. So I said the wedding planner, because I was like, that's another wedding rom-com. Like, I feel like this is in her wheelhouse. And she's like, no. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't know where to go from there. I, I, I went 13 going on 30. She wasn't happy. She wasn't happy. My car came, thankfully, and I got to escape the situation. And she chased you. like She was pregnant, so she couldn't chase, which is probably another reason she was crabby. She was really pregnant, but I hear it's uncomfortable. I you hear know. it's uncomfortable, yes. Yeah. I, my favorite is when people uh, uh, people will say like, "Hey, Conan," and then they'll they'll pull someone out of the back. Like I'm at a deli counter, oh. they'll pull someone out of the back who's sure. maybe from another country. Even Probably. they pull them out of the back, and they're like, "You know who that is? You know who that is?" And the person will be like, "No." <laughs> I don't know. No. I'm like, "No, you know that? You don't know who that is? You don't know who that is?" And then they say to me, "Conan, tell him, tell him." I, what am I? I suddenly have yeah. to tell you who I am? Yeah. I'm a delightful ginger haired <laughs> leprechaun. <laughs> That's my Who favorite. was married 44 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> you, were at the, you were at that wedding as a child, remember, Andy? Yes, I do remember. <laughs> Just barely. Andy was there in a shorts and a little sailor suit. Oh, I, you were I did. I did. Yeah. It's a good old day. <laughs> Costumes changed back then. <laughs> oh, I'll get you. I'll get you, Judy Greer. Yes, I know you.